All right, we've got a couple things we need to test this time. First thing we need to do is figure out, uh, first and foremost, can the three sides even make a triangle? So we're going to review that step real quick. After we decide if it can if it can or cannot make a triangle, well, if it can't make a triangle, we're done. We just say, no, it's not going to be a triangle. If it is going to make a triangle, we want to go one step further and figure out whether that triangle is right, acute, or obtuse. So we have two tests we're going to do first. Uh, or two tests we're going to do for these problems. First, we're going to test whether it can even make a triangle or not. We talked earlier in another video uh, to determine if you can even make a triangle, take your two smallest sides. So in this first example, that's three and four. And those two smallest sides have to add up to a number bigger than the biggest side. Three and four make seven. Seven is, of course, bigger than six. So yeah, these three sides can make a triangle. Once we've determined that, let's go ahead and go one step further and figure out what kind of triangle is that going to be, right, acute, or obtuse. To do that test, now is when we're going and using the Pythagorean theorem test. Uh, one thing, oops, I should have probably done this earlier, or maybe we can do it right now, that's fine. I'm going to label my sides A, B, and C. Just keep in mind, C has to be your biggest side. If your numbers aren't in order, just watch out for that. So sometimes that tricks people. Uh, so my Pythagorean theorem test, I'm going to say 3 squared plus 4 squared. I'm testing this. I'm going to leave a space right now and put my biggest side on the right, 6 squared. What I like to do is leave that space or even draw a little like box or circle right there. I'm going to fill that space in with some kind of sign when I'm done with this, either an equal sign, a greater than sign, or a less than sign, which will tell me which of the three kind of triangles I'm dealing with. So let's do a little bit of math right now. 3 squared is 9. 4 squared is 16. Again, I'm going to leave that space right there because I don't know what's going to happen. Uh, and then 6 squared gets me 36. 9 and 16 add up to 25 on the left. I get 36 on the right. At this point, we got to decide what symbol I want to use. Uh, obviously, well, hopefully, obviously, you know this is not going to be a right triangle. If it was a right triangle, the two numbers would be equal to each other. They're not. In this case, of course, 36 is bigger. If you check back in your notes, or maybe you have this memorized, if that C side, the biggest side, works out to be uh, greater than the two smaller sides, what that means are is that we have an obtuse triangle. So not only do these two, not only do we know that these three sides make a triangle, we also know even more specifically, specifically, they make an obtuse triangle. I'm going to go ahead and do one more. If you want to see one more example, then I'll have you try that third one on your own in about a minute. So again, first test, I want to see, can these three sides even make a triangle? Uh, my two smallest sides, I'll label them A and B, are 10 and 10. My biggest side, which we'll label C for right now, is 18. So first test, can they make a triangle? Do my two smaller sides add up to something bigger than the biggest side? 10 and 10 make 20. 20 is, of course, bigger than 18. So yeah, they can make a triangle. That's good. If we get a no at this point, again, just stop. You're done with the problem. If they don't make a triangle, then you don't need to figure out if it's right or acute obtuse. It doesn't make a triangle. Uh, let's do our second test then. What kind of triangle is it now that we know it will make a triangle? Here's where we're testing Pythagorean theorem. So I'm going to do my a squared plus b squared. Although we wouldn't really call them A and B and C if it's not a right triangle, but whatever. Uh, and then my biggest side is 18 squared. I leave that space in between because we don't know what kind of sign is going to go in between just yet. So 100 and 100 when we square both of those tens. 18 squared gets me 324. I can probably already see it's not going to be a right triangle again. Uh, these two sides add up to 200. My other side is 324. I know it's not right because, I know it's not a right triangle. My work's right. But I know it's not a right triangle because the two numbers are not equal. Again, that C is the bigger side, which again tells me I have another obtuse triangle. If you think you got it, go ahead and pause the video and try that third example. If you want to just see it run through or don't want to try it, I guess, uh, just let the video keep playing. My work will show up in just a couple seconds. So those two, uh, those three sides did end up making a triangle. Hopefully you caught the little tricky part in there that C was in the middle. Your biggest side was right in the middle. Uh, furthermore, once you found out that they did make a triangle, hopefully you also found out that they made a cute. This time the two smaller sides, the A and B side squared, ended up to big, ended up to be bigger than the biggest side squared, meaning it was an acute an acute triangle. If you have any questions, jot them down, ask me in class, or feel free to send me an email.